Hello, this is Mr. Craig, and I wish to welcome you to Honors Chemistry at Plainfield High School. Now, I want to go over a few things. Uh, first and foremost, be sure that when you get your Chromebook that it's fully charged and you do have a stylus. That is the one thing that you absolutely positively must bring with you to class every day. Honors Chemistry is not really a college prep type class. This is a foundational type class that will get you ready for AP Chemistry. Honors Chemistry is not enough chemistry if you plan on being a chemistry major or going into pharmacy or medicine. You absolutely positively need to take AP Chemistry if your desire is to go down that path. Um, what I've noticed is in the last 10-15 years that a lot of students are not willing to challenge themselves and just take honors chemistry thinking that that is enough chemistry for them to be adequately prepared for uh, their pre-med, their chemistry degree, etc. So honors chemistry is a foundational chemistry class. You will learn some things in this class you may already know some things that you will be taught or be exposed to in this class but what I don't want you to do is get so uh, to the mindset that you are not able to learn anymore there's a lot of things that we do not talk about in honors chemistry because it is such a foundational type course we do talk about a lot of things in AP chemistry and starting in the 21-22 school year, I will also be teaching what's called organic chemistry, which will be under the disguise of AP environmental. So that's way beyond where you're at right now. So that's a couple years down the road. So introduction, let's start right there. Uh, I am Mr. Craig. This will be my sixth year here at Pinefield. I have taught chemistry for the past 23 years. I started at Avon, taught there for 17 years. Um, I've taught AP chemistry for 18 years, uh, including the six that I've been here at Plainfield. My wife is also a teacher. She teaches kindergarten at Avon at Maple Elementary. I've had a few students that have had her uh, that have moved over to Plainfield, so I find that quite interesting whenever students tell me about that, that she gets them at the beginning, I get them at the end. So she has, trust me, the harder job, and I, I would not want that. My son, Samuel, graduated from Plainfield High School uh, last year, 2019, and he is a sophomore at IPY, studying criminal justice, with really the end result or intent of going into the Air Force. So he is in the ROTC program, learning to become an officer. So I hope that works out for him. Um, my contact information. So if you need to contact me, probably the best way to do it is to email me. I don't know about Parent Square yet, how that's rolling around. Remind typically doesn't work well for me unless I really check it. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wean myself off of Remind. Uh, so email me. So if you want to get the quickest answer, that is probably the best way to get a hold of me. I wouldn't try calling. Uh, I don't check my, vet, my phone messages very often, uh, unless that light is blinking, but I do check my email quite a bit throughout the day. Expectations. My expectation of you is that you come into class willing to learn, uh, don't have the attitude that you know everything, because I guarantee you do not know everything. You are not smart. You either know certain things or you don't know certain things. So smart is not a real thing. So I don't know if people have told you that you're smart, that you're gifted, you're talented. We need to erase all those notions because, um, yeah, let's just get that out of your mindset right now because you're always able to learn. 
And what I don't want you to do is to identify yourself with a particular grade. And that especially is more so in AP Chemistry, where we really start to talk about things that you've never read about, talked about, learned about, and it, it's, it's interesting. So if you are struggling, that is normal. That is what we call life, and that is how you learn. You must fail to be able to learn. So if you're failing in here, probably the main reason why you're failing a lot in here is because you're not doing anything. So you need to stay on top of things. So my expectation is for you to be a willing participant. Participant, I need you to be teachable. I need you to listen to instructions. I need you to stay on task. I need you to bring the materials that I ask you to bring each and every day. And I just ask you to be a good student. Since, again, this title, Honors, is not for everybody. So just because you are in Honors Chemistry does not automatically make you a genius. By no stretch of the imagination is that true. Google Classroom. Um, if you're a freshman, you may have already been exposed to Google Classroom. If you are a student that has not had any experience with Google Classroom, you will get a lot of exposure with that. And the nice thing about Google Classroom is the actually the reason why I use Google Classroom, and again, this is the 2021 um, Classroom, it should look something like that, is it's more of a landing pad. So it has everything in there. Um, a couple things, and I do want to talk about these anyway, is some of the things that we need to do first, first and foremost. Make sure that you have a calculator. You already have your Chromebook. You do not need to spend a lot of money on a calculator, but you must have a calculator. It is unacceptable for you to walk into this classroom and say, I don't have a calculator because I'm going to ask you, how have you been doing your homework? And your reply might be, well, I use my phone. Well, you don't get to use your phone during the test and quiz. So you need to get a calculator. Calculators cost somewhere between $8 to as high as $140. So I would not go out and spend a whole lot of money, especially for this class. Now, if you are buying a new calculator for your Algebra 2, your Pre-Calc, whatever higher functioning math class that you're taking, okay, that's fine. What we don't want to have is a calculator that looks like this. And these are really bad calculators. These are not what scientists or chemistry students should be using. These are calculators that elementary age children should be using, maybe middle school, but definitely high school students should not have a single line calculator. Because if you have a single line calculator, that tells me a lot about the type of student that you are that you don't know how to use a calculator, that you don't know how to check your work when you type things in on a calculator. It is imperative. If you do not have at least a double line calculator, and it'll, it'll tell you that, it has two lines on there that allows you to go back and look at your history. More importantly, it allows me to go back and look at your history. In case that you're typing something incorrectly, I can say, ooh, you forgot to put a parenthesis there, or oh, you didn't put a division sign there. But on a single line calculator, there is no such thing as a history, and I don't want to see those in my classroom. And trust me, you do not want to have a single line calculator when you're trying to work things out. It becomes frustrating, and it these are no good. These are for people that have no desire to do anything with math in their life, okay? So, two-line calculator, get one of those. Earbuds, make sure you bring your earbuds. There'll be times in class where I will ask you to do something that will require earbuds. So please bring those. Pretty straight forward there. Um, we'll talk about Cami and the Chromebooks on the first day, so I don't really want to talk about that right now. The syllabus, so if your parents are looking at this, 
The syllabus is in Google Classroom as well. You can take a look at that. I will briefly talk about that on the first day. So that gives the expectations that I'm looking for there. The syllabus is there. Um, let's go ahead and get back here. So I have already posted, let me move this out of the way if I can get my mouse to work. I've already posted the first unit. So I will post each unit as we go forward. And probably the most important thing that you need to look at is what's called the proposed schedule. So the proposed schedule is essentially your map for what we're gonna be doing. So it, it will detail everything that we're gonna be doing in class. When we're gonna have a quiz, when we're gonna have a test, when we'll have a lab. Don't know about labs yet, but we'll find out about that. So your first test is going to be August 25th, and everything that we'll be doing is right here in this document that you'll be working with. I will talk about these links up here once we get into class, but these are some important links that you'll want to use. Every lecture has already been pre-recorded. I will lecture to you um, in honors chemistry, but if you miss a day or say that you, you have a COVID related um, situation, this is exactly what we're doing. Now, some of the words may be a little bit different, but this lecture is available for you. That also is a nice little piggyback that if we do go to e-learning, this is what we'll be doing. It'll be just standard operation. However, I will have a Google meeting with you on the days that we meet, which we'll talk about that if that happens a little bit later on. So the proposed schedule, every unit will have one of these. Um, I don't have all the units up just yet because there's no reason to put all the units up there just yet. So um, that's the expectation in Google Classroom. Cami app, again, I'll talk about Cami when we get into class. So be prepared to do a little investigation. Um, actually, at the top right-hand corner here, I will put a link. Actually, you might be active right now. Click on that if you want to watch the video of what Cami is. So that might be something that's beneficial. So just click up above here to see that link. What if we go e-learning? If we go to e-learning, maybe the governor says, okay, you guys are not allowed to come into the school building any longer, then we will meet the days that we are assigned to meet. This is not a time for you to sleep in until three o'clock in the afternoon, stay up until 4 a.m. You are still in school. So the expectation, again, going back to expectations, is that you will be meeting with me during the assigned time. There will be assignments. I will be collecting work, etc. Not sure about how we're going to do the assessments, but let's hope we don't get to this point where we have to deal with e-learning. If we get to e-learning, I will update the situation. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful year. Hopefully we're in class face to face. Uh, that is my hope. I don't really want to have a school year where we are not in person. So I want to wish you the best. Welcome to Honors Chemistry and have a great day.